in the world is going on? I can't believe I'm a wanted criminal in a place I've never set foot in before. I just came to find the secret space station that's been said to exist somewhere in Del Mango. What the? Is she actually hitchhiking? Well, I'll be. Hey, get in. Consider yourself lucky today. <laughs> Speeding, violating a traffic light, and illegally remodeling your car. This is a total grand slam. W what? Then you're. That's right. I'm Del Mango Sheriff. Will you step out for a moment? I need to inspect the inside of your car. Uh, no! I'm a wanted fugitive. Think, Donnie, think. <laughs> wow! Whew. It's scorching hot, isn't it? It must be so hard working in this heat. Sheriff, here. Have a sip of this. It's ice cold banana juice. Ah, bribery. I'm adding that to the list. Stop with the petty tricks and get out of the vehicle. <laughs> All right, I won't try to run away anymore. My name is Donnie. All I have is my passion and spirit. I don't have such things as an ID or registration. So, what you gonna do about that, huh? My name is Romy. I'm going to haul you into the station. Darn it! <sighs> Here, put this helmet on so we can get going. No can do. I can't put on a helmet. What? It's impossible. It won't fit even if I do this? <laughs> what? How can a titanium helmet break to pieces? Titanium? Nope. This isn't anything like titanium. This is a crudely made knockoff helmet made of plastic. What? You mean somebody supplied knockoffs to the sheriff? Bingo! Ha! Huh, something smells fishy. I think I know what's going on. Hold on, Romy. I heard there was a dealer gorilla who brought in cheap Del Tango made knockoffs and was selling them all over Del Mango. Hmm. He's gotta be in here. Hmm. Let's see. You know, all these gorillas look the same, don't they? <laughs> Was it that you just now? I think I got the dealer gorilla's location, Romy. I'll go catch him right now. <sighs> Not so fast, mister. I'm going with you. Now, let's go arrest that dealer gorilla. R Romy, aren't you in charge of giving out speeding tickets? And you have your own scooter. Stop trying to use your bulging head and just drive. Okay, we're going. Hold tight, Romy. Vroom, vroom, vroom. Who was it that said life is like a roller coaster full of ups and downs? Up until a minute ago, I was a lonely fugitive. But now I'm enjoying a drive with this cute girl. Knockoff helmet. Thanks, Dealer Gorilla. So, the guy who sold a knockoff helmet to my Romy is in there, huh? Excuse me, my Romy? How am I your Romy? Romy, I'll go in first and scope out the situation. You stay out here and block the dealer's escape route. If I don't come out in 10 minutes, then that means something's gone wrong. Help me out then, okay? Huh? Hey, Gorilla! Why is this one so expensive? You know, this is way overpriced. <laughs> As they say, it takes one to know one. I think the speaker has finally met its owner today. <laughs> what are you talking about, Gorilla? Franco, was it? 
I felt it the moment you came into my store. I knew your ears would never be satisfied with just any old speaker, because you, you're a guy who wants a speaker that's more than a speaker. You want the ultimate car audio system. You mean this is the very thing that I was looking for? <laughs> that's right. This little guy is the greatest masterpiece, made by the German guerrilla master craftsman, Meister Ufenstein Spiegel. He spent 40 years on it to create the ultimate speaker. It's the masterpiece of all masterpieces. For 40 years? That's incredible! Yes, 40 years! But that's not all. The bass reverberation of this speaker is so extraordinary that legend has it, in times of emergencies, people used it as a massage chair. And this guy is only 2,000 moolah. Come on, I'm losing money. Ha <laughs> ha, this is why my mom always told me not to go into business. Oh, thank you. I'll use it well. Stop right there. Huh? You made it! Let me introduce my German friend, Meister... <laughs> Gosh, I can't remember his name. But anyway, he's the ultimate masterpiece. You should pick something out too. Our store is chock full of great products. Ha, huh, I'll pass. I've always been allergic to knockoffs. <clears throat> knockoffs? Hey, what are you talking about? Are you saying he's selling knockoffs? Huh, why? That's totally ridiculous. Look here, Franco. Open your eyes wide and check this out. <laughs> Is the toilet paper for us to wipe our butts? How sweet. I guess you're more considerate than you look. <laughs> A misunderstanding. Hear me out. I can explain. Try him up. Let's hear the twerps travel stories through Germany. Wait. Since I've been made... <laughs> uh, so you figured it out, huh? Fine. I sold some knockoffs. So what? Do what you want. I don't care. What? You have some nerve. You're an out-and-out -out criminal. What if my Romy had your knockoff plastic helmet on, then got into an accident, huh? Romy? Now who's that? Cute name, though. Ha! Since you guys know everything, I have no choice but to fight it out. When you came to interfere with my business, you must have expected this, at the very least. Okay, bring it on! Well, come on, make your move! What happened to the spunk that smashed my speaker? Aya! Ouch! Oh dear! That must have hurt. Oh! <laughs> this is a knockoff plastic nunchuck. Fooey! Everything's a knockoff. Everything! But the bounty on that gorilla's head is definitely real. Let's not waste any more time and hand him over to the sheriff. <laughs> A bounty? Look who's calling the kettle black. Aren't you the ones with bounties on your heads? What? what? Oh, that's right. Actually, I recognize your nostrils from the start. They're quite expensive nostrils. That's why I secretly sent a text message to Sheriff Django. Bam, that's how I do business. A nasty gorilla to the end, aren't you? In a little while, this place will be surrounded by Django and his task force. <laughs> all right, we'll back off today. But we can't just leave all these knockoffs behind. Johnny? Yep. No! Remember, those who live by knockoffs will die by knockoffs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's pretty much, yeah. Uh -huh. <gasps> hey!
Sorry! <gasps> Look! This isn't the time to just sit and drink juice! Django is coming this way! Hey, are you Pomi? Romy. After being with ugly gorillas all the time, you sure are a sight for sore eyes. Romy, let me introduce myself. I'm Franco. Nice to meet you. I, the great Franco, could smell it from a mile away. The smell of knockoffs. Franco, if I hadn't gotten here in the nick of time, you would have wasted 2,000 moolah. It was my strategy all along. <laughs> all right, let's get a move on it. Django and his gang will be after us. Oh, wait! You might not have noticed, but hello, I'm a sheriff of Del Mango too. Tell me what's going on right now. Uh, you don't seem like bad guys to me, but as long as I know that you're wanted criminals, I can't let you go. Romy, I'll explain later. So for now, if you would just... Huh? 